All right, if you want to follow along, you can check the link in the description to find this photo. So first, let's do some simple changes to the lighting here. So for this, I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer and make this all really dark like that. Now, if we grab a normal brush, soft round brush here, take the black color and I lighten up some areas back. So I want to make sure some areas are light. So for this, I'm going to brush a little bit of these areas here, just a bit, not much, maybe a bit of a spa here. Let's do a bit here, 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 like that. And that is pretty much it for the lighting to change, to change the lighting on this image. Now, if we press Command Alt Shift E, we get a duplicated version of this. Now convert this to a smart object and let's open up camera roll filter. And here we can make the image look really cool just by using these settings here. So for the exposure, I will drop the exposure here. Let's give it a bit more contrast. Give it a bit more highlights. Shadows we can also drop. Let's give it a bit more white so it doesn't get too dark. And the blacks can be darker. Now, if you want to make this image look really soft, we can drop the texture here, but we need to increase the clarity to make sure it's still in good quality. So this is fine. And let's see if we can slightly change this one like that. And now we can do some changes to the color. So for this, I will drop the vibrance a bit and increase the saturation slightly like that. So that's it. Now let's move on to the curves. Here I can make a bit more highlights, like that. Let's leave that one. Let's give it a bit sharpening. So we get a nice, nice good quality photo. And here I want to change the colors a bit. So I want to make this a bit more like orange, like that. It also has some yellow, so I'm going to move this slightly to the left. And that's it. Now if I go to saturation, here I can also change this one a bit. Let's see, if we move it to the right, we get a bit more saturation. And also for the yellow. Now let's move on to luminance. Here we can make the highlights even lighter. Just like that, slightly. All right, let's move on to calibration. So for calibration, we can also make the colors a bit better. So let's slightly change this one. Red a bit to the left. And this one also a bit to the left. All right, so that's pretty much it for this one. Press OK, and that's it. And I can see how cool this is. And the only thing I will do here is to create a new layer and fill this with 50% gray. Change blend mode to overlay. And give it a bit of a dodge to some areas to make this lighter. So I will lighten up this part here. Just like that. And also here on this pulse, let's change this one to mid tones. Let's do a bit of a ear here, like that, and that. Now you can see we have these whiskers here. So let me change this to highlight. And now we can just lighten up these whiskers so they don't get too dark. Can even increase the exposure here. Like that. Maybe a bit here on these areas so it doesn't get too dark. Maybe a bit here. Just a bit of a brushing. Alright, now we have created like let's see. We let's drop the opacity here. Now we created this dark kind of thing. And I would create a light source here. So I'm going to create a new layer and pick something orange, yellowish. And let's make a dot here. And just make this bigger, like that. And hold on control and stretch it out. So we create this light beam coming in his face because we have created this 
dark kind of thing here. I want to make sure we have a light source for this. Let me move this a bit like that. You can eventually even create a couple of these light sources if you want. And maybe change the opacity here. So maybe one light source is, one light beam is lighter than the other one. Like that. And just move these around. Duplicate it with Ctrl J. And just place them around. Maybe some here. Like that. Alright, so this looks pretty cool already. All right, now next thing I would do here is to create a gradient map on top of this one. Change the blend mode to overlay. And here I have these 105 insp inspiring B gradients. If you Google those, you can find those online. And here I would just scroll through all of these gradients to find one color that I like. So here we can set a really different kind of color tone to the whole image. Now let's see, I want to have something a bit more bluish to this. So this could work for this one and drop the opacity, like really low. So now you have also some blue tones to this. Next thing to do is create the curves and bring this up so we have more light and bring the main tones to the middle, like that. Now we can also create a color balance here to get even more blue to this image. So I would eventually move this one or this one a bit to the right and just like that so you can see the difference it gets a bit more blue so that is how simple it is to create something really cool from a normal photo without even removing the background just focusing on doing the curves and changing the lighting and pretty much it just by using camera raw filter and you're done so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one